Manifesto Novices Chase. Alan Howes, good afternoon. Walking in, and they're off. Action underway here at Aintree 2024 with the Close Brothers Manifesto Novices Chase heading down towards the first of their 16 fences. And Ginny's Destiny led them over. Presto by Colonel Harry as they race on towards fence number two. Close up behind is Blow Your Wand with the noseband. For a few lengths and clear from Grey Dawning, just in head of Ilette Tomp as they come to take fence number two. All safely over, slightly slow jump there perhaps from Elete Top. He's going up in trip today to the two and a half miles. Now to the open ditch, Janice Destiny. Led them over from Colonel Harry. Lads in second place under Gavin Sheehan. Blow your water a little wider out, understand Shepard. The Pendle Chase winner from last time. Then Grey Dawning coming to take the last on this back straight line of fences for the first time. Still held up last of the five Elete Tomp under Paul Townend. Heading down the side of the course then and towards the cross fence at number five. And it's Ginny's Destiny looking to turn around the Cheltenham running with Grey Dawning. He's out in front, shows the way from Colonel Harry. Talton Novice Chase winner from earlier on in the season. Leader having a good look at the cross fence over safely Janice Destiny. From Colonel Harry, length and a half away to blow your wad. He's towards the outside of Grey Dawning and Harry Skelton. And then came Elete Tom, third in the arc last time with that rising journey today. Into the home straight, three fences in front of them here. And fence number six is a plain one. Jenny's Destiny put in a good lead there. Landed out in front, a length and a half to Colonel Harry in second. Grey Dawning against the running rail, sharing third with Blow Your Wad. And then Alete Top, another open ditch for these runners now. Another fine jump from the leader, Jenny's Destiny. Length or so in front to Colonel Harry, Grey Dawning. He's in company with Blow Your Wad and then Elete Tom, the long run between these two fences, are racing on towards fence number eight, which will be the last of the 16 next time around. Ginny's Destiny trying to make all the running. Once again, rise ahead there. From Colonel Harry, pops over in second place. Grey Dawning to the inside of Blow Your Wad and a further two lengths back to Elete Tom with one lap to go in the 15th running of the Close Brothers Manifesto Novices Steeplechase. On the bend then that takes them out into the country, past the packed enclosures here on opening day at entry, and it's Ginny's Destiny who still goes along with the advantage. To Colonel Harry, Grey Dawning to the inside in third, another three parts of a length away to Blow Your Wad and no move here from an Elete Tomp who remains the back marker of the five. Through their starting points, as they make the journey towards fence at number nine now. And it's Ginny's Destiny from Colonel Harry over the ninth. The leader just brand the back legs through a little bit there, Ginny's Destiny. Leads only by about a half a length now to Colonel Harry. Couple of lengths away to Grey Dawning to the inside of Blow Your Wad and then the Elete Tom as they size up fence at number 10. Janice Destiny still with the lead there. Jump better than the previous obstacle. From Colonel Harry to the outside in dark blue and maroon. Then Grey Dawning still to the inside. A blow your ward from Elete Tom. And now they get over another open ditch. Good jump there from Grey Dawning just in behind the leader, which remains Janice's Destiny racing towards the final fence over on the back straight. This is number 12. Janice Destiny, Colonel Harry made a mistake. Blow Your Wad was also a little untidy there, brushing through the top. Elete Tom trying to make some headway towards the outside of Blow Your Wad. are about to turn to go down the side of the race course and approach the cross fence and racing the way towards four out. Ginny's Destiny narrowly now to Colonel Harry to the outer. Elete Tom has got much closer in yellow and purple to his inside, then Grey Dawning, and then came Blow Your Wad, who again made a slight mistake just before the turn towards home now. Ginny's Destiny in front by a half a length only to Colonel Harry. Grey Dawning is waiting just in behind along with Elete Tom and then Blow Your Wad is trying to stick on in there but is under pressure. They're racing their way towards three out in a tightly grouped field. Ginny's Destiny joined on either side. Colonel Harry the Grey on the inside. Grey Dawning a little bit tightened up for room there as they head the way towards two out. Elete Tom has come there seemingly going well in second place but it's Ginny's Destiny who will 
will lead them at the final open ditch two out from Elete Top. Grey Dawning pushed along back in third. They're leaving behind Colonel Harry and Blow Your Ward. They're racing their way down towards the final fence. Elete Tomp serves it up to Ginny's Destiny. And Elete Tomp under Paul Town and went on up in trip today and is moving right away from Ginny's Destiny and Grey Dawning. The final fence, Elete Tomp. He's over safely. He's clear by four lengths to Ginny's Destiny. Then came Grey Dawning. They're battling out second place, but no doubt about the winner. That'll be Elete Tomp. Elete Tomp has won the manifesto. Clear from Ginny's Destiny and Grey Dawning. They were second and third. Then came Colonel Harry. And last home, blow your wad. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.